very good morning to students today we are going to learn about the fixi uh, mining and which is the difficulties in your working fixi topic well no my name is karuna kumar h odi mane uh, this is actually an underground gas testing sample collection underground mine there is a picture of here but there is a picture of the underground mine well uh, coming to the uh, indian seams most of the more than uh, 4.5 meter thick uh, called uh, is considered as a thick seam in former uh, united states of russia poland former yugoslavia seems more more than 3.5 meter thick are known as a thick seam uh, that is a country to country varying our indian country is 4.8 meters more than is called a thick seam Uh, remain other countries 3.5 meters some uh, england uh, they are 1.83 uh, we are categorizing different issues well in indian coal seam of uh, 4.5 meter thickness or uh, higher are called thick nearly 60% of the total coal reserves that are workable by underground mining methods in the country um, are thick coal seams to go fulfill the increasing demand of coal most of the these uh, thick coal seams have been developed extensively in a single or uh, multiple uh, slices sections uh, around 30% of the development uh, thick seams are underneath a protected surface while the remaining 70% are available for caving subject to the availability of the suitable mining method to extract coal under the existing challenges of a difficult geo mining situation conditions thick seam are found in many countries example in the former ussr france spain china former yugoslavia canada and india etc in india over 60% of all known Core reserves are contained in a thick seam. Some of these thick seams are nearly 30 meter thick. One exceptional thick seam in a singularly coal field in 162 meter thickness. That is the highest in a singularly coal field. The one at a time, the 162 meter thickness is available. So this is the issues of the formation of coal by naturally uh, different countries in a. natural formation according to uh, which method we are go to thick seam to wastage of uh, as per our national mineral policy is concerned don't wait uh, if required you take it but don't waste of the uh, natural resource to preserve for the future generations that is a prime motto in such situations you have to apply thick seam mining uh, particularly uh, slicing method is the most popular one but uh, most of the indian conditions uh, long wall other board and pillar methods are very going by slicing methods uh, layer by layer we have extraction such techniques are applying so concept of thick seam varies uh, from the country to country uh, basis of for the lower uh, limit of thick seam being a thickness thickness up to the which you seem could be extracted a one lift uh, pass that is a one lift after another lift available equipment technology so this is one example Uh, for different countries they go to different method when australia and china they have the 4 meter and 3.75 meters long wall mining they are going canada 4.2 meter room and pillar they are using france 3.5 long wall and 5.0 room and pillar hungary 4.2 long wall uh and india 4.8 long wall japan 2.5 long wall poland 4.5 meter long wall 70 room and pillar Turkey, UK, 2.5 long wall. USA, 1.8. USSR, former, 3.0 long wall. USSR, former. UK, Slovenia, 3.5 long wall. 6.0 chamber and pillar, 4.3 long wall. So this is a different, different countries, the thickness and which method they are applying. So thick coal seams in India, the in India is concerned. Our uh, India have the from the from singer into coal india uh, there is a, a different uh, companies different uh, coal india they have subsidiaries except uh, lignite is separate and uh, singer is separate the remain 
coal india uh, different uh, subsidiaries you have a different uh, area mines have the uh, thick uh, coal seams are available uh, jaria coal field the seam 9 and 10 uh, sudamandi colliery uh, rajaniganj coal field uh, pervila colliery up to the uh, jambad and uh, pondi singarin colliery king seam and queen seams are thick seams uh, gdk 9 and 10 england ramagunna area is thick seams chimakurti Ch chinnakuri colliery uh, ECL and also Karapura coal field, CCL, Jharkhand, and Assam also. So, mines are the thick seam, uh, history of the thick seam mines in India is concerned. No doubt, these are the important for the Indian conditions. Thick seam mining in uh, France, uh, Romania, and Canada, and Australia. The lower limit of a thick seam is uh, taken as a 4 meter, Vos and uh, Sing 1997. It will those be seen that there is a no standard uh, def uh, definition of a uh, thick seam. Uh, different countries have uh, adopted different uh, lower limits for the categorization thick seams. The guiding principles has generally been to fix the lower limit of the thick seam as a thickness up to the which a seam could be extracted in one lift pass with the available equipment and technology problem what are the problems associated with the mining of thick coal seams what are the problems associated with the thick what are the problems associated with the thick coal seams problems associated with the uh, problems associated with the Thick coal seams, uh, there is a difficulty in strata control. There is a major uh, challenge in uh, mines because of uh, huge coal can be extracted in different places. Uh, maintenance of the upper slide and also maintenance of the lower slide is a challenge. So, difficulty in strata control and uh, its monitoring is one of the big challenge. Risk of overriding pillars leading to the premature collapse. Uh, risk of overriding of pillars leading to leading to premature collapse in case of board and pillar workings low press, uh, percentage extraction uh, that is also important usually uh, less than 50 percent and the extraction is done by the board and pillar method low percentage of extraction usually less than 50 percent and extraction is done by board and pillar method so low percentage of extraction is usually uh, one of the important uh, chances of a high spontaneous heating because of considerably core loss in goof. So that is also one uh, important uh, activity. Heavier support, uh, heavy, heavier uh, support requirement in a deep seams and a long wall method of working. Uh, difficulty in a subsidence control due to high magnitude substance. So these are the uh, major challenges in the well, extraction of the coal, the coal seams. then so this is a complete uh, method of mining thick coal seam method of thick coal seam uh, wooden pillar and long wall with a major categorization of uh, thick coal seam uh, these are the methods particularly we are using what are the thick seam there is a system in the is different 
but extraction method is a Bowden pillar and normal. Within the Bowden pillar, and a single lift and multi lifts are there. A single lift, uh, slicing mining, underwing, another three category. Bowden pillar, Roman pillar, chamber method, uh, hydraulic mining. Bowden pillar, Roman pillar, chamber method, hydraulic mining. Multi lift, we are used as a multi lift with the floor filling with the stubbing. Multi lift with the stubbing except in upper most slices. Long wall, single lift, slicing many, underpinning, inclined slicing, horizontal slicing, diagonal slicing, traverse inclined slicing, underpinning, sub level caving. Integral caving and also ascending, descending, ascending, descending, inclined, horizontal. So, these are the uh, method of uh, mining of uh, coal seams, uh, categorization of uh, which method is used for getting good production. Uh, single lift mining is uh, generally limited to the height of 4.8 meters, however. Uh, thick seams are normally mined in multi slices. This is called a slice mining, wherein each slice is mined in one pass. Working of each slice can be either by Bowden pillar method or by long wall method. In general, Bowden pillar method passes uh, greater strata control problems than long wall uh, mining and a thick seam the mining. This problem becomes the very high. Further heavy coal loss takes place in a Bowden pillar mining. Therefore, long wall mining with the multi slices is the preferred method of mining for extraction of the coal from thick seam. This is also suitable for mining thick as well as steep seam. So this is the one of the uh, thick seam is concerned. Thick seams are found in many countries. Uh, as earlier already we discussed, you, every country have their own pattern. Up to Singrone, Singrone is the highest 160 meter thick at a time is available. Thick seam uh, add to the reserve core and uh, lend themselves well. For working by open cast mining, most some cases. But if the other hand, thick seams have to be mined by underground method, the mining of such seams is a best beset with the numerous uh, problems, the strata control, the spontaneity, etc., resulting in loss of large percentage of coal. Difficulties in working thick seams. The following are the difficulties in working thick seams. Strata control is a difficult, heavier supports are required. Inspection of the room, uh, roof is difficult. Risk of overriding the pillars and board and pillar workings and uh, premature collapse. So these are the uh, other type. With the collapsing of working, uh, large volume of gases may be expelled. Also there may be violent and air blasters. Percentage of extraction is low. Usually less than 50% more chances of uh, spontaneous heating. Uh, since casually amount of coal is lost in the gulf, fire problems is increased. Due to high workings, the ventilation may be sluggish. This is also one of the important uh, experts, especially in the deep layering areas. And if the seam is gassy, this may be result in a methane roof layer. The magnitude of the substance is high. And substance control is difficult. Uh, the substance control is uh, difficult. The Indian seam more than uh, different countries have adopted different lower limit of the category thick seams. Uh, the guiding principles is uh, generally been uh, fix the lower limit of thick seam as the thickness up to which seam can be extracted and all lifted available equipment and technology. Uh, most of the uh, long wall method is uh, most of the thick seam mining applying. Uh, some cases you go through bone and pillar.
So what is the situation necessary for special methods? So now we are coming to the thick seam mining we are seeing. But what are the mean by special methods? As per the situation is concerned, situation necessary special methods. Uh, the following are the situation necessary for the adoption of the special method. This is a thick seam. This is the one uh, important thing. Thick seams with the steeper gradient. Thick seam with the uh, high gassiness. Uh, thick seam having more spontaneous heating. So the following are the situations necessary for the adoption of special methods. Uh, thick seam. Thick seam with the steeper gradient. Thick seam with the uh, higher high gassiness, thick seam have more spontaneous uh, heatings. So, these are the uh, basic uh, idea of the uh, thick seam mining, this kind of special method is kind of, oh, so, uh, you take a thick seam is one kind of cutting, with the gradient is one other, high gases is one greater, spontaneous heating. Seam with a good marketable quality, fiery seams also only favorable. Due to high working ventilation may be sluggish, especially in deep and area. And if the seam is gassy, this may be a result in methane pump flaring. The magnitude of substance is high and substance control is difficult. The substance control uh, is difficult. Right. Coming to the special methods. Coming to the special method. Following are the uh, different uh, special methods for uh, uh, use for the extraction of the coal seams. That is, one is a slicing mining method, inclined slicing method, horizontal slicing method, and diagonal slicing, traverse inclined slicing. These are the most popular uh, special methods of the in slicing methods. Please note that. So the mining that uh, entail working in the ore body from the top down in the successive horizontal slices that may follow one uh, another sequentially or uh, simultaneously. The whole thickness of the slice is work. The ore may be broken by ore hand on the time stopping each uh, method is spread. There may be sub-level caving method is also there. Room and pillar is also there. Um, Horizontal slicing, blasting gallery method, hydraulic mining, underground gas patients. These are the, the major methods of a special method. Inclined slicing, uh, horizontal slicing, diagonal slicing, traversal, inclined slicing, slicing mining methods. Another the sub-level caving method, room and pillar, horizontal mining, blasting gallery method, hydraulic mining, underground gas patients. And also principles of working thick seams. Uh, we can uh, invariably thick seams are mined in a multi slices by slicing mining. Invariably thick seam are mined in multi slices. Invariably thick seams are mined in multi slices by slicing mining. Principles are working of thick seams. Uh, thick seams are mined in multi slices uh, by the slicing method. The slice being a such thing uh, thickness as a wood 
permit their easy extraction in one pass. The basic methods of mining are board and pillar method and long wall method. So board and pillar method of mining uh, thick seam in, in a multi-slice has not been successful as this method does not uh, lend itself to efficient strata control. And the high index regular settlement of strata and uh, results in a heavy loss of coal. Obviously, the choice goes in favor of multi-slice mining by long wall method. The following are the methods, uh, principles used for the extraction of the coal seam, uh, ascending order or uh, slicing mining, descending order or slicing mining, mixed order or slicing mining. These are the uh, within the um, special methods, depending upon the slice movement, the downward, upward, or mixing time uh, to to fulfilling the. Uh, Strata, strata may have behavior. Slicing, slicing uh, mining is uh, core seam is divided into slices, suitable thickness, and individual slices are worked as a core seam of a similar thickness would be worked. Uh, slices may be taken in uh, both ascending order or any descending order, or in a mixed order. It may be descending or ascending order. Working of first slice in ascending slice is like working as a seam as a average thickness. Subsequently, uh, slicing must be done in a conjunction with the stopping curing is not possible. However, the last slice may be worked with or without stopping. So this is one uh, important uh, for ascending order is concerned. The, the ascending order, uh, uh, the entire core seam is divided into blocks. Each block consists of a number of slices. The slices in the block are worked in ascending order with stopping, while the blocks are uh, worked in ascending descending order. Uh, this method is common practice, horizontal slicing method of fixing mining, uh, inclined slicing. Uh, Descending order of slicing. In, in a descending uh, sli uh, slicing, working of first slice is like like a working of seam of moderate thickness and it does not uh, present any special difficulties. Working of subsequent slices would means working below a, below the broken goof uh, and uh, this will present difficulties and uh, will necessity the spreading of uh, netting or other uh, material for making an artificial roof under which the second and subsequent slices may be worked. This is a descending order is concerned. And then stopping uh, through a possible uh, is rarely practiced in um, descending slice. The stopping must be done timber board or laid on the floor to hold the uh, stopping material. Instance existing where numerical uh, stopped go on the first uh, slice has consolidated over a period of time. And when the second uh, slice was worked in beneath, the roof formed by the consolidation of the vertically stored film was found to be better than the original roof.
and then currently both the uh, practice uh, uh, slice mining in ascending order or in a descending order are in use however uh, while considering uh, pros and cons of both um, these practice the descending order of slicing with the caving is preferable whenever the conditions are suitable for its adoption a prominent advantage of the descending order of slicing or a possibility of working thick sim with the caving and reducing the risk of spontaneity so uh, these are the even uh, practices for the uh, caving and uh, stubbing practices there is a uh, safest way to for example ascending a case we need uh, stubbing is required in this case of descending uh, Uh, allow to cave some slices required depending upon the situations concerned All right, and we'll go to the next slide. So, what are the mixed order of slicing? Both two are the uh, order of uh, ascending and descending. Sometimes they are using mixed order. In mixed order of slicing, a core sim is uh, uh, divided into blocks. Uh, the slices in the block are worked in the ascending order, with the stubbing, whereas the uh, blocks are liquidated in the descending order. this method is commonly practiced in horizontal slicing method of thick sim mining and mixed order of slicing a core sim is divided into blocks of slices in a block or worked in ascending order with the stubbing whereas the blocks are liquidated in a descending order this method is commonly practiced in a horizontal slicing method of thick sim uh, thick sim mining uh, in mixed order of the slicing the core sim is divided into blocks Uh, ascending order and descending order both uh, common combination are uh, using this is a mostly successful method in other countries not in any practices then then uh, in figure oh, yes was shown in the below figure is showing here this is a uh, complete uh, understanding purpose for the descending and ascending and ascending descending orders of the block one block two this is a mixed type in this method mining coal is divided into slices of appropriately thickness of the each slice is worked in a method of uh, similar to that of an entire seam have thickness same as the slice coal from the slices can be extracted ascending and descending or mixed both ascending and descending order this is a, a simplified understanding for the this is a descending order from 1 2 3 this is ascending order from 1 2 3 you can be understand it very simply this one this go through draw the
Right. This is a, a model of a slicing. I'm coming to again. Right. From here, okay. So in slice mining, a coal seam is a divided into slices of a suitable thicknesses, and individual slices are worked as a, uh, as a coal seam of a, a similar thickness of a would be worked. Slices may be taken in both ascending order or in the descending order or in mixed order, descending or ascending order. Working of the first slice in ascending slicing is like working seam of the average thickness. Subsequently, slices must be done in conjunction with the stubbing, caving is not possible. However, the last slice may be worked with or without stubbing. In a descending slicing working, a first slice is like working of seam of the moderate thickness and does not present any special difficulty. Working of subsequent slices would means work, working below the broken goof and this will be present difficulties and uh, will necessity spreading of the uh, netting or other material for the making an artificial roof under which second and subsequent slices may be worked. A stubbing throw possible is rarely practiced in descending slicing, uh, where stubbing must be done. Uh, timber uh, boards are laid on the floor to the hold the stubbing material. Instance existing where dramatically stubbed goof of the first slice has a consolidated over a period of the time. And when the second slice was worked beneath the roof formed by the consolidations of the Pneumatically stowed fill was uh, would be better than the original roof. Currently, both the practice uh, slice mining is uh, um, in ascending order or in the descending order are in use. However, while considering pros and cons, both these practice the descending order of the slices with the caving is preferable. The conditions are suitable for its uh, the preeminent advantages. So these are the descending. Uh, the descending slices can be uh, done with uh, without stopping. In case of the descending uh, slicing with the caving, splitting of wire netting is required to make the artificial roof uh, to arrest material of the broken roof. Upper slice and this wire netting uh, serve as a roof for the lower slices. Lower slices are worked below the broken cove. Stubbing is rarely practiced in a descending slices. So this is the one of the where the descending order means from the up to first slice. So once it is extracted, this material uh, goof will be fall into the this roof, second roof. So that they are preparing a wire netting mechanism. The wired mechanism. So there will be second, there will be set rod. So this is here given. Splitting wire netting is required to mark make a, the artificial roof uh, to arrest the material of the broken roof of the upper slice, and uh, this wire netting serve as a, a roof for the lower slice. A lower slice are worked below the broken roof. Stubbing is rarely practiced in a descending slicing. So descending slicing with the stubbing is rarely practiced because of, for example, if you fill with the stubbing, this material will be falling to this one. 
so descending order you will never practice the stop wing this is a mark you have to note it down so rarely practice with stop wing this is the one important object Then, so this must be noted down uh, when stopping in art practice in the descending cases. That is one important one. And coming to the ascending slicing, in ascending slicing method, uh, the first slice is the bottom most to the slice, which is uh, extra excavated first. Working of uh, this slice is uh, like working of seam. An average thickness uh, subsequent slices is uh, done with the stopping. The upper slices are worked on the field surfaces of the bottom slice and there are therefore ascending slices cannot be adapted with the caving. The last slice can be worked either with the stubbing or caving. Right. So this uh, uh, with this I am going to concluding the uh, this slicing methods. So we have some quiz questions on uh, in this uh, uh, thixi mining uh, slicing methods. We go through the purpose of purpose of examination point of view as well as uh, in uh, coming uh, uh, quiz examination point of view and also complete examination is it uh, or JMT examination point of view which is helpful. The following are the methods principles used for the extraction of the coal seam. Ascending order or uh, slicing mining, descending order of slicing mining, mixed order of slicing mining. So all the above. Uh, critically you can answer it. Similarly, another one question or a question. So it's following which is not special but inclined size, original mining, board and pillar level, sub level gaming. Which is not special mining. Which one? Bowden pillar is not a special mining. It is a method of. Uh, then, uh, the following are the difficulties in working of thick seams. Uh, strata control is difficult, and uh, inspection of uh, roof is difficult. Fire problems are there. So, these are the only way to take it.
please note down these uh, quiz questions for the examination point of view. Right, this one is not done. is also not done. Right. So the I'm going concluding. So overall, this picture is a complete uh, idea for the uh, understanding of special methods of thick seam mines. So as per the country to country, the nomenclature is changing. As Indian condition, we are using 4.8 meters thick seam. Uh, most of the single area, 864 thick seam is available. Uh, slicing, uh, by slicing methods, we are using slicing, descending and ascending and ascending, descending methods we are using. And with the stopping, without stopping. Uh, most of the descending is not possible stopping. Preferably go to work caving by use of a wire meshing networking system. Within the slicing, we can use board and pillar or long wall method. You know, over usage of the method of working available, technology available. The combination also we are using for the thickness of the extraction is a prime motor of this. Idea. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed today's class.
So with this, uh, I am going to conclude the uh, today lecture. I hope that you, you refer the uh, textbook that is uh, R. D. Deshmukh. It's a very good book for the for explanation for the slicing methods. Uh, I hope that you today enjoyed the class. Thank you. Thank you very much.